Hello, this is Joe Orlando, President and CEO of Collectors Universe and longtime collector. In this installment of the PSA 10 webcast series, we are going to discuss the topic of photo matching through a series of three key questions. While the subject of photo matching has become more and more popular in recent times, it is important that collectors understand what photo matching is and what it isn't since it is often a misused or misinterpreted term. Let's begin. Number one, what is a photo match? A legitimate photo match is a definitive match of an image or video footage to a specific collectible. It is not merely a style or model match, but instead an exact match to that item. No gray area should be present when it comes to a photo matched item. It either is the same item or it isn't. While photo matching is primarily used in the world of game used equipment, such as professional model baseball bats and jerseys, on rare occasion it can be relevant and valuable to other types of collectibles. Here's an example. In 1934, Babe Ruth signed his final contract with the New York Yankees, a year that Ruth would reach the once unprecedented milestone of 700 career home runs before departing for the Boston Braves in 1935. In this rare press conference footage, Ruth and Yankees owner Jacob Rupert are seen sitting together consummating the deal. At one point in the footage, the cameraman miraculously stops to zoom in on the signature page of the contract. Let's go back to the contract close-up and freeze it. If we take that screenshot from the vintage footage and place it side by side with the contract today, you can see that it is an exact match. It's important to remember just how rare this kind of match is. The footage of the event needs to exist in the first place, and the item must be captured at just the right angle by the camera to confirm a match. In this case, the remarkable match can definitively place this specific contract at the 1934 New York Yankees press conference. Number two, how rare are photo matched items? They can be exceptionally rare. Photo matching is tough to do. Most game used equipment, for example, cannot be matched. This is especially true when it comes to vintage items. Why is it so difficult? A match often requires a crystal clear image, unique characteristics, and the perfect angle to reach the required level of certainty. Here's another example of a photo match, this time from the world of professional model bats. In Game 2 of the 2009 World Series, Jorge Posada comes off the bench after a rare day off to pinch hit against Chan Ho Park of the Philadelphia Phillies in the bottom of the seventh inning. Let's watch. And a line drive base hit to center, 3-1 New York. After Posada lined the pitch into center field, a photographer took a perfect shot of Posada's finish and the barrel of his bat was facing directly at the camera. If we zoom in on the bat, we can observe unique characteristics, such as the small chip in the signature brand which probably resulted from contact with Posada's cleats, markings from general handling or use, and even the pattern of the grain, which can act like a fingerprint on bats of this nature. When you lay the barrel of the bat in the still shot against this 2009 Jorge Posada World Series bat, once again, you can see that it's an exact match. The quality and availability of recently taken images make photo matching much easier than in the past. But it still can be difficult, even when you have an outstanding professional model bat. Think of photo matching as a process that can take an already great item to another level if confirmed. Number three, what can photo matching do to the value of an item? Photo matching can add tremendous value to an already certified collectible, but the extent of the impact depends on a variety of factors. The rarity of the match, the player, the moment, 
event, year, or era the item is matched to, and more, can all have an impact on value. For example, in 2014, a PSA DNA GU10 1996 Derek Jeter Game Used World Series bat that was matched to video footage of the series sold for a record $155,350. That final figure is far more than it would have sold for absent the video confirmation because the bat itself could now be placed at a certain moment in time. In this case, the bat was used during Jeter's first World Series appearance and championship with the Yankees. So, there you have it. We hope this video was helpful in answering some of the commonly asked questions about photo matching. For more information about PSA's photo matching service for professional model bats, please visit our website at psacard.com under our services section. Until next time, thank you for joining us and have a great collecting experience.